Good morning, everyone. You're on again with Pastor Hosea from Calvary Baptist Church, and here's our daily devotionals. We know this week we're tackling the subject of love, the greatest force in the universe. And the daily scriptures are going to come from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8a, meaning the beginning portion of verse 8. Love is patient, and I'm reading out of the NIV translation. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not envy. It is not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails, but whether there are prophecies, they will cease. Whether there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. But I want to focus on that A portion of verse 8. Love never fails. That's our subject this morning. Love never fails. Now we know that the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians focuses on the agape love of God, which is the unconditional love of God. And this is the love that we should all be trying to, to, to mature in our lives, trying to grow within our walk by allowing that agape love of God that he loves us with to shed abroad from heart to heart. Because this level of love never fails. See, the enemy will always fight you from trying to get you to never embrace this unconditional level of love because he has no he has no weapon that can conquer it. He has no temptation that's stronger than it. He has nothing he can throw against you that's more powerful than a force of agape love. The Jesus said, with love and kindness have I drawn thee. It was that love that drew us. And when you understand this love never fails, no one can embarrass you when you're walking in this love because it will, it's long-suffering. It endures. No one can, fear can't can overtake you. Why? Because perfect love casts it out fear. This is that perfect love. Fear is no match for it. No one can, 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 can talk you out of it by the way things look, looking at the sight rim and it doesn't look good. Because this love, this agape, unconditional love, it remains. It doesn't matter if someone does you wrong, if someone tries to offend you, this love remains kind. This love is patient. This love is not selfish. So feeling like someone's getting ahead and you're lacking behind, this love conquers that. Imagine a love that you can walk in, that will never fail. Oh my God, this love will cause you to walk in divine healing when you're dealing with the biggest sickness of your life. This love will cause you to believe God for provision when it looks like you're losing everything like Job. This love will cause you to stand when the enemy is taking his best shot. Cultivate this level of love in your relationship with God. Oftentimes we seek the bigger house or a nicer car or trying to get some new clothing or materialistic things. But when you make this love your number one priority, your number one goal, learning to walk in the agape love of God, everything else is not even a factor against you. Because this love never fails. So if this love is in your heart, then you will never fail. Let us cultivate that love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Get it in your spirit until it becomes who you are. Until tomorrow, walk in this love. God bless. Thank you again for joining us. I pray that that word really blessed your life. And if it did, why don't you share it with someone else that you know could be blessed or helped by it. Let us share God's goodness so that all of us can grow and be victorious as God has ordained us to be. If you didn't do it earlier, please click that subscribe button and also click that notification link so you will be updated when new content is coming. And if you desire to support this ministry, you can click on that Give Lify link, search Calvary Baptist Church of Hawthorne and continue to support God's work. We thank you. We love you and can't wait to see you again next time.